This is a story from Hawaii. And it's a story of a little boy called Maui and how Maui did something that helped his family and indeed helped all the people of the earth. Now little Maui used to like watching his mummy do her work. And his mummy was called Hina, Hina of the fire. And her work was to make a special cloth. It was called tapa cloth, and she made it from the bark of a tree. She scraped off the bark and she wet it with water and then she pounded it to make it soft. And then she would lay it out under the sun to dry. And from that cloth, she made all the family sleeping mats and all the clothes. Now you would think that in a country like Hawaii, the cloth would dry very quickly. But no, because at that time, the sun didn't stay long in the sky like it does today. The sun came up and passed quickly over the earth and went down again. It was a great adventurer and liked to roam quickly. And little Maui was a clever little boy. And he realized that if the cloth dried more quickly if there was more sunlight, it would be easier for his mummy. And he also noticed that the plants and the fruit trees took years to ripen. They didn't ripen in one season like they do today. So little Maui got the idea that if he could find a big strong rope, he could throw it up and lasso the sun and catch it and make it slow down and go more slowly over the earth. Well, Maui had a lot of brothers and he asked his brothers to help him. Now, I don't know if you've got big brothers, but sometimes they tease the younger ones and laugh at their ideas. And when Maui told them of his idea to capture the sun, of course they laughed at him. If you try and catch the sun, you'll be Maui cinders or Maui ash. Don't be silly. But little Maui thought it was such a good idea that he persuaded his brothers to help him. And finally they agreed. And they found a great big sturdy rope and they waited until the sun was going to rise the next day. Each of the brothers held an end of the rope at one end. And when the sun was coming up, they lassoed it and they flung it up but what do you think happened? When that rope came near the sun, it burst into flames and disappeared. And the brothers said to Maui, now don't be having any more of those silly ideas. And he went slinking back to where his mummy was working, making her cloth. But he was still thinking and thinking. And mummies usually know when their children are thinking hard about something. And his mother said to him, Maui, my son, what are you puzzling over there? And Maui said, I'm thinking if there's any kind of rope that would bear the heat of the sun and not burst into flames when it gets near it. And why are you thinking that? Oh, just to amuse myself, said Maui, not wanting to tell his mother about his idea. But his mother said, there's one person who is a great maker of ropes and might be able to help. And that's your grandmother. The little Maui, he hadn't seen his granny for a long time because she lived deep into the forest. But his mother told him how to find her hut. And off he went into the forest to ask his granny for help. Now his granny was an old woman and she was blind and couldn't see very well at all. But she heard footsteps approaching. And when Maui got near, she called out, Who is it? Who's there? And little Maui said, It's me, Granny. It's Maui, the youngest son of Hina of the fire. Well, Granny, she didn't believe that it was really Maui. My grandsons are adventurers, she said. They don't often come around here. 
And if they did, I wouldn't recognise them. But Granny said, Maui, it's really me and I need your help. So Granny had a great big pan over a fire outside her hut. She was cooking bananas and Maui had his eye on those bananas. And he crept nearer and nearer to that pan. What do you need my help for, said Granny. I need to make a rope, said Maui, a rope that will bear the heat of the sun and won't burst into flames when it reaches it. And what would you need that for? And just at that very moment, little Maui reached out and he grabbed a big bunch of bananas out of the pan and began to eat them. I want to capture the sun, Granny. I want to slow it down so that it'll warm your old bones and help mother's cloth dry more quickly. Well, Granny, she still wasn't quite sure it was Maui. But at that moment, Maui jumped up and landed in her lap and planted a big kiss on her cheek. And then Granny knew it really was her grandson Maui. And what kind of a rascal wants to capture the sun, she said. The same wee rascal that steals your bananas, said Maui, chomping away on those bananas. But now Granny agreed to help. She told him that she could help him make a rope. You see, grannies always try and help their grandchildren because they're usually very kind and very wise. And she said she could help him make a rope that would withstand the heat of the sun. But the only material that would work was the hair from his own sister's head. And she told him he would have to go and get his sister to agree to give him her hair. Well, I don't know. If you would ever do this to your sister, but little Maui, he waited until his sister was asleep and he crept up and he cut off all her hair. And then the next day, he took the great big bundle of hair back to Granny. And she taught him how to make a rope, how to twist the hair. And for three days, they braided this hair into the greatest, strongest, sturdiest rope you could imagine. And then when it was ready, they stood on the beach by the sea waiting for the sun to come up. And then they lassoed the rope and flung it up into the air. And that rope went right round the belly of the sun and caught it. And little Maui hung on to the bottom of the rope and he called out, Sun, sun, you are powerful and your warmth is good, but you don't stay long enough in the sky. You need to go more slowly over the sky so that the plants and trees can ripen quicker and my mother's cloth will dry. Well, the sun, he struggled and hollered and yelled. He didn't want to slow down his adventuring, but little Maui held fast to that rope until finally the sun agreed that for six months of the year, it would go slowly over the earth and give the people lots more hours of daylight and sunshine and warmth. But for the other six months, it would go quickly across the sky like it liked to do. And ever since then, we have had summer as well as winter. Now it's June now, and we're coming up to the longest day of the whole year, when there's lots of hours of sunshine and daylight. And when it comes, you can remember that it's all because of that little boy Maui in Hawaii who wanted to do something good to help his family. <laughs>